Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, those seven blocks from Broadway to the East River? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's it's often been said, the closer you are to the stock market, yeah. <laughs> the faster your computer connection. <sighs> now, I had read that 80% of all trades are actually um, black box controlled. Yes. <laughs> it's kind of like you have this um, this computer. Yes couple blocks away from the stock market yep and somebody programs an algorithm mm -hmm. so the computer is constantly evaluating the buying and selling yes looking for any anomalies in the market yes <laughs> could you find out that within 20 block radius of wall street yes exactly how many computers are connected to the stock market itself yep mm -hmm. And then are there any artificial intelligence programs running any of those computers that it's all this black box trading of supercomputers that are actually controlling the markets? <laughs> you know, a lot of us, we think that it's just a, somebody at home yes, deciding to buy a huh, 100 shares of whatever stock. <laughs> They're going to buy it for the long term, making an investment in their retirement. <laughs> Not realizing that there are supercomputers all around Wall Street, all evaluating all of the actual buying and selling that's going on. <laughs> now, let's say you're an army in another nation. <laughs> you're in uh, you're in London. Yes. You're in China. <laughs> you're in India. Ooh. <laughs> You're in Germany. <laughs> You're in France. Oh, I just wanted the armies of the world to realize that any time you have a supercomputer making all the decisions about the buying and the selling, yes, <laughs> close proximity to the actual market is fundamental to the availability of being able to trade the liquidity of the individual markets. <laughs> Now, for the soldiers in the other armies that thought, what, <laughs> we have to support the United States of America.